another Sticker Kit and Craft video. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make an embossed acetate shaker card. So for this card I've used elements from the new um, Santoru Korikumi range from Craft Consortium. So uh, from that range I've got the background papers, the raffia, the hearts and the heart pins and then I've just used some sequins from my stash to put inside the shaker bit. To start off with I'm going to do the background for the card. So I'm using this background pattern from the 8x8 pack of Korikumi papers. So I normally do backgrounds just by drawing around the card um, and then I know exactly what size to cut it out. Next I need a piece of acetate. Um, so for this I'm just using um, something that came off a bit of packaging um, and I'm going to draw around this again to get the right shape. Um, the type of shaker card I'm making is going to cover the whole front of the card with sequins inside, like one big pocket. And then you may find it easier to cut the acetate out with scissors rather than a craft knife. I'm now going to emboss this with the heart embossing folder that comes in the Korikumi range. So this is the embossed panel, you can just about see the hearts on there. And now I'm going to attach it to the front of the card um, with my sewing machine and I'm going to leave a gap at the top so I can put the sequins in. So now that the sewing's done, and I'm sure yours will be a lot neater than mine, um, you can see that this is sealed onto the card and there's a pocket left at the top where you can put your sequins in. When they're all in place you can sew at the top of the card. Now that your shaker card's sewn up, you can cut off the excess bits of thread. And now you're ready to add your finishing touches to the card. I'm going to wrap mine with um, this raffia twine that comes in the Korikumi range. And when I wrap cards with twine, I often make a small cut in the spine so I can thread the twine through. So I've tied the raffi around now and I'm going to attach a wooden heart to the centre of my bows. And I'm also going to attach a couple of heart stick pins to the card as well to complete the heart theme. To attach those I'm going to use a foam square tucked behind the bows. So that's the finished card. Thank you for watching and please do like and subscribe to my channel for more craft updates and videos. Thank you!